Now, look at the screen in front of you. You have something going on in Reed's Pen. Over there in Old Britain. And this man right here, Upton Smith. Him and him brother are cause a whole heap of problem over there in Brayton Meadows or aka Reed Spen for the last three years. Now me I bring this out and me I talk to the police boy them over a hundred man. Let them know how they say what the hell is going on over there. Me I talk about them to you. Yeah. Now before I get into this Great and Meadows and, and them gang boy yeah. Now I did two videos Part 1 and Part 2 On the killing that happened in Trinidad On Wednesday Today is Thursday Now a lot of people Are saying oh stay out of Trinidad business And a lot of the Trinis them is making some foul comments But check this out I am dead serious. I am giving Prezi and Six Dan two weeks to put out a statement for them crew fall back. Yo, this is not a peace deal. Okay? The man them need to fall back. If not, watch what the fuck I'm gonna do. And people think I'm joking. Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again, the great, great, one more great countryman, remember to like, share and subscribe and click on another video. Now I want to big up all of the people them who are subscribed and all of the viewers, y'all know how countryman is, I am not a typical vlogger like i said maybe i am naive and i'm trying to make some serious changes so me i am gonna call out the bs the fuck with the bullshit you understand and me i gonna put it on the international level where people can see this and make them honest decision I me a call out the authorities, me a call out the dirty gangsta them, none of uno no safe around me from uno I do fuckery and I kill off uno one another and I kill off blood clad poor people when they come in like some chuck. The pussy all them me a kill off people in a them neighborhood and now nah help nobody. You understand? A them kind of people them me a deal with. You see the hustler them? We I make them money and I move up in a life Me not have a problem with them straight up But you see the little dirty stinking corner boy I am We I murder innocent people And I do pure fuckery because of jealousy Yo We not have a problem with blood clad me straight up Let's go Now before I go into Wopton Smith and Marcus Smith from Reed Spen uh, Brayton Meadows We just want to talk about the uh, the Caribbean region and what I see going on in terms of the violence uh, Listen, the Caribbean region we have unprecedented violence Killing, and we have a lot of chaos going on but one point I want to make and I need people to listen to this you see these Caribbean leaders who run these countries the first thing they're saying it's drugs 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 and a lot of time it is not drugs you understand most of these K 
shillings and everything that's going on. It's going on because of other stuff, not drugs. It's because of inequality. It's because of corruption. It's because of a breakdown in the social fabric of our societies and these are people who are supposed to help us re-social engineer our mindset and help the cut they're not doing it and this rests on everybody so they you they like to use drugs as a scapegoat but from what I see going on in the Caribbean region and I would like to think I'm somewhat of an expert because I have dealt with many country, many people from different places from St. Lucia to St. Martins to all over the Caribbean. Don't forget the number one murder capital upon the blood clot globe which is Jamaica. You understand? So I would like to think that I have some kind of knowledge and what I see it is not drugs it's other issues that's going on in the country and a lot of it is corruption and when I say corruption I use a broad term but corruption comes in many ways and then the outcome is usually pussy me not get my money a dead you have a dead we not live better than we are we not have no food a dead don't have a dead and that's what it is so the region and the whole need to look into fixing that like me say carry come them to drop a bomb in a carry come as far as I'm concerned but listen let's move on and talk about them two youth here Hopton Smith and his brother Marcus Smith they're causing havoc havoc in Reedspen New Great and Meadows now we want to know what's going on over there in Great and Meadows because these two guys right here it's alleged and the talk out there is that the man them they are supplying some of the youth them with shoes and the youth them who don't want certain shoes and resisting they're getting killed murder and the biggest thing is that the police over there is not dealing with it now what i heard is that when other set of man name get called the police come and the police hunt them like dog and kill them but when these two brother allege now when them step out and do feel them thing them get away scotch free now there's couple thing about these two brother here but more John Public no but before we talk about them <laughs> guess who is the police over there my famous friend let me show you in picture my friend I'm just using a pun a figure of speech he's not really my friend but that's white boy police Jason McCoy the one who we talk about we are kill off the youth them and them have white boy upon the Jamaican police force are kill off the black people them okay and him are Jewish but he is responsible for over that side at all 
and I am not saying he's doing anything but it just looks funny that when them set a youth here which is the Smith brothers them get caught up in a certain things and the man that they around them nothing is come of it but as soon as the other youth them who is resisting because let's be real we know how Jamaica is and we know what's going on you understand so the youth them who resist the so called Smith brother them they're always getting killed or all sort of stuff happen to them so that brings me to figure out who the hell are these Smith brothers? What do they do? Do they have money? And how, how are they funding their operation? How are they living? So right away I want to dig into their history and their profile and create a profile about them. That's how countryman work. So check this out. Now, let's talk about Ropton. Ropton in back and forth from Florida. And him hang out with a youth named Dagart. And Dagart, him a run enough for the shoes them. And that's so. Ropton had been with it. You understand? In Ropton, I would say he's following, and this is just my opinion, the bigger brother, the other brother, Marcus, lead. You see what I'm saying? Because Marcus. The bad boy, me I tell you no, look about Marcus. Marcus, I him are the bad boy, and you know, probably no Marcus Smith street name, you know. Him go by the name of Dangles, and Marcus was in England, I also with Ron Waldy and the man them, and him and Waldy fall out of England cause him rob Waldy cause you know so Waldy used to hustle so Dangles aka Marcus used to have link wrong with Waldy them in a certain area you understand wrong from the Kingston 11 and Waterhouse and them place there you see what I'm saying no, like me said, you go through the grapevine, him take the food from Waldy, then end up at Jamaica, him end up, pay off Waldy and work it out with Waldy. But then, some other things happen between him and Waldy. I'm never telling about it. As you can see, I don't have a picture of Mr. Dangles or aka Marcus Smith and I just want him to know that, don't worry, I'll get a picture of you very soon. But with this guy here, Mr. Marcus, Dangles, there's something perplexing about him and I want to show you guys a diagram because really and truly I'm trying to figure out why this man start flex the way he's flexing and I turn the youth them against each other. Now look at 
the diagram in front of you and I'm gonna break it down for you guys now if you look to the left you see where Mr. Dangles aka Marcus Smith he's from Reed Spen now he had leave Reed Spen and went to England as you can see on the right okay now in the middle at the top you see where it says Reed, Reed Spen and Middle East they were in war and then peace came at that time Mr. Marcos was in England he was involved with Waldi like I said before and him and Waldi fall out they, they ash it out in payback Waldi now he gets deported from England if you look at the bottom now he wanted to start in the red right here at the bottom where the arrow is he wanted to start a war with the Middle East so he wanted Reed Spen and Middle East to go back into the war and start a vibes and the man them in Reed Spen was like no we're not warring everybody's peace now if you look to the left you see where it says Dangles take his guns from Reed Spen and move them to Britain Meadows with the man them over there and then him start to put the man them in Britain Meadows against the man them in Reed Spen man like Kika Ellis and Dog Art which include also Marcus brother Upton Smith now that's a snapshot of what's going on I'm gonna talk what happened with him and Waldi in Jamaica now when in drop a yard I'll start being fuckery this is Mr. Marcus him and Waldi link back up as you all know Waldi was going to court for the killing of Bully which he beat the case and was driving back home stop on Mountain View Avenue and them shoot him up and kill him they said it was police some people say it's a government some people say it's bad man now this coward dangles Mr. Marcus Smith he was in the car behind while they and when the man them jump out and start fire shot the man in the second the man them in the second car which Mr. Dangles was in wanted to get out and defend the thing and Mr. Dangles held on to the door and didn't want to, to come out of the car so while the people them start to suspect if he had something to do with it because Dangles know enough of the police them over there in 100 man he's very close with a the police there but I hear the police that he was close with became a soup and he's also close to the other police now to be fair with the white boy police Steven Seagal of Jamaica I don't know if Dangles and that man there is close or with the twin but what I do know the twin and Dangles I mean sorry the twin and the white boy Steven Seagal police Jason Mackay are them run over 100 man and run over Britain as you can see they were at a uh, sting and they were the ones who arrested Honore, the, the DJ, and that's a fuck. 
so back to what i was saying when he didn't come out of the car because he was behind while the while the people them start suspect him so him take away himself and them start pre him now with this guy a whole heap more stuff went down but what i think i'm gonna do i am gonna make a part two so this video right here is the part one and as you can see mr dangles get mixed up and then waldy dead and he was in the car behind waldy now there's a whole bunch of other things he mix up in and i'm gonna tell you guys about that in the part two in terms where he's at what he's doing you know even mix up with tasha miller dog so there's a lot to be said so i'm putting mr marcus i may have put the public for notice i may have put the police them for notice if you guys don't step in and do something there's gonna be a lot of bloodshed because marcus i try to extort people and he might try to set up the britain meadows man them to start warring with the reed spread man them so tune in to part two and i'm gonna tell you guys some more on where this guy is listen my name is countryman remember to like share subscribe and click on another video and remember countryman is on your case